Welcome to episode 23 of this day-by-day -day playthrough of year one. All right, guys, it's good to see every single one of you. Take care, Sheezy. Have a good rest. Thanks for coming on in. And uh, everybody else, it's good to see you in the chat room today. Welcome, YouTubeage and such. <laughs> really happy with what we got going currently, and the progress we've had has been very, uh, very exciting. We already have 30 Iridium Sprinklers, and we are ready to start setting some of those up, start working on some of our design for the farm. While I have you guys here, what do you think? Maybe, how about this? If you watch the video, comments below. What do you guys think about doing a tour series where we have 10 to 20 minute episodes of each of my characters when they're pretty much finished, like Lady Tufiz? And I can explain why I do what I do. Oh, what is this? Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, random Spotify, or no, Sound SoundCloud? Random SoundCloud? Song? Yeah. But anyways, I think that'd be a fun little series to do. And, uh, some extra vids. We are currently doing some wild seeds with some of our old, uh, Sprinklers. As you can tell, though, we've taken down most of our sprinklers. So this is the last... After uh, getting 435 pieces of Iridium Ore, that's the last bit. We're going to have 47. We want to do uh, 21 Crystallariums, so that'll be... 21 is 40... 42? 42 Iridium Bars. But that means we're going to need... Oh, man. Goodness sakes. We're going to need over a hundred gold bars, so we're not even close with gold. But we could actually build that fairly soon. Well, within the next year, probably by like summer. If we grinded it out hard enough, we could get enough stone for that. Sorry, I wasn't thinking about what we needed to do. We got to get preserves going, yeah. We need to find some crocus if we're lucky, man. That would be really cool. Let's do blueberry preserves. And do cranberry in the wine. That's how we're going to get through winter. We're going to be able to have a lot better stuff in the future. Now let's go look at it real fast for those who haven't seen it. We did make these yesterday. It was very exciting. Okay, we made these yesterday. <laughs> 30 iridium sprinklers. Ugh. So we can really have a fun time and build a huge garden for for year two. Might even do small glimpses of year two in some videos, but we'll see. I'll only do it if I got people that want to do like a small little bit of editing, because I could just record like three different times throughout each season, give it to them, make little montages of year two. That'd be kind of cool, but I don't do that stuff, man. <laughs> You're boosted? Yo, Moon's left big toe. I'm boosted for life. It happens. Alright, so... Let's drop these off. I want to keep those on me because we're trying to get Shane happy so we can get them pepper poppers. That's a nice early game thing to go for. I feel. I use a blue yeti, if anybody on YouTube or in chat, because somebody did ask. Pyro Thunder said, may I ask what mic you're using? I'm using a blue yeti. I have, uh, I actually have the kit, man. I have a Rode PSA uh, 1 mic, boom, mic stand for desks. I have the Radius 2 shock mount absorber meant for the yeti. 
and uh, the blackout version of the Blue Yeti, and a pop filter. And a really awesome set of uh, Sennheiser headphones because of my community, actually. So when it comes to, like, mic and headgear, I am so lucky, man. <laughs> I've gotten nice stuff because of them. And their generosity in the past, dude. Well, all the time, shit, honestly. Let's just be real. All right. Sorry, I was all sorts of uh, focus on the animals. Nice. Why am I doing that? We want to sell those. We did already get the duck feather, yeah? Let's make sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, we got it. All we need is a red cabbage for that bundle. Now, I'm not trying to get no year one CC. I'm not one of those, like, tryhards. I try hard in my own method. <laughs> I like to try hard with, like, certain things, like... Getting a huge iridium run so we can have iridium sprinklers by year two, you know? That's what I like doing. That's my kind of thing. But, yeah. Oh wait, he doesn't? That's right, they're on every other. I forgot about that. Oh wow, we seriously went through it? Wow, nice, we caught up. I kind of want them to naturally give me one each. Like get one more goat and them, I don't want to buy them. I'm not in a rush to get a whole bunch of barn animals with this farmer. That isn't a priority for me. My priority is to have, well, we're going to have all Iridium tools once we go pick up the the watering can tomorrow. That'll be ready tomorrow. And, uh, because we turned that in on the 13th, I believe. That was yesterday, but I think so. You know what I mean? So. No, we're going to sell those. We're only saving that cheese. Boy, we got a lot to do. I think I'd rather do that than anything else. I think I'd rather start to set up our gardens. I'd rather start to set up our future gardens. We're going to have to do some math. That's always fun. I play video games so I can do math. Um, That is what I want. We don't need those with us right now. This is like the first stage of kind of designing it out. And that's the other thing. Like when it comes to laying out my design, my my layout for my farm, I do it naturally. I like to do it by eye and sight and just kind of like figuring it out. But this farm and the fact that we want to do a ton of these, I'm not going to lie. This farm's not going to be incredibly pretty at the end of this, uh, well, at least... At least not at the start of this playthrough. We might try to make it a little prettier by the end of year two into year three, but we're going to make it like, hey, we want to go hard. We want to be a farmer, you know? Yo, it's good to see all you guys in the chat, though. Much love to you, and thanks for being out here tonight. Good to see you guys. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. So let's get our butts down there. What is this? Oh, the mushroom tree. <gasps> no, chat. This is where I got to put up one of my things. I don't want to get rid of the mushroom tree. Uh, that breaks my heart, chat, but we have to do it. We had to do it. Feels bad. Uh, 
Oh, mushroom tree, oh, mushroom tree, oh, mushroom tree, oh, mushroom tree. It kind of looked like it was already dead, though. Is that what they, do they just become a, like, kind of like the stump or something? Like, what's with that? Why, why is that a thing? Like, was it already dead? I feel like it was already dead. F's in chat, F's in chat for the dead mushroom. F's in chat. Lots of clearing out for this. But it needs to be done. This farm doesn't really have a specific design. It's not like one of my specialty farmers like I'm used to doing. I know, there's really nothing you can do about that. I tried my best, but you can't really get to the left of that one. Um, so this is just kind of, this whole playthrough for this video series has kind of been just based around doing a generally, like overall speaking, just like a generally solid farm, solid playthrough. We are in year one, and we got all these guys to lay out. You know, I hate doing it right now, but I kind of want to, so we're going to. We need to clear out some of this real fast. Wait, why do I have that out? Because of the worms. Oh, I'm boosted. I don't know if we can do this in time. We gotta hurry. Because I want to move animals. I gotta get this one out of the way. The other worms to the left there, those don't matter. That'll be fine. And that's good enough for now. We gotta get going. I, I might even leave those other trees, to be honest. I need to go this way. We can get that oak resin when we get back. There is a method behind my madness. You guys know me. I'm not about the sprints. I'm about the long haul. That's how we were able to get into this situation where we had this many. And welcome everybody. Good to see you guys today. All right. So now we need to construct a farm building, kind of. Not really, we're just moving stuff. That's perfect. That's perfect. I kind of want it to be right up there. It'd fit. And I'd still have a double wide to get across. Let's put it one over though. Wait, what? Oh no, that hoed spot. Whoops, I screwed up. We can have it a little lower, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna have an area here that's kind of enclosed and uh, it's going to be it's going to be our grazing area for these animals. We're going to give them a little bit of space. I usually don't do that, and we all know this. Let's actually not have that right there, though. Let's put it one over. Almost makes me want to bring it down, but I, don't, I like them to be kind of layered a little. Then again, look at this. These are lined up. I don't like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to be staggered, man. It's got to look more natural. I hate it when it's just like, you know. 
I mean, you can do it any way you want. I've just done so many farms that looked so grid-like, it like, I don't know. I got bored of it. Do I want to move my silos too? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Now we can start placing our iridium sprinklers. Do oh, those worms did screw us in the end, chat. <laughs> Epson chat. Um, do, 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 do. I like that actually. It's charming. It's charming. Yeah, we went real heavy. If you go back a couple episodes in our uh, YouTuber YouTubery of episodes, what episode twenty? I don't know. It's it's called Iridium Run. We got four hundred and thirty-five pieces of Iridium ore. We even have all of our tools upgraded, dude. Well, with the exception of the watering can, it's gonna be ready tomorrow. It's gonna be ready tomorrow. So yeah, doing pretty well, Fishy, on this playthrough. Good to see you, by the way. Well. We want to make one of these probably sooner-ish. And I mean, this isn't something we need to have. Sure, I like I said, I'm not really sprinting. I'm about the long haul, but it is nice to have that. I mean, we've been able to get around having a horse for a long time in this playthrough. And also, if you're one of those people who are like, well, I want to have a horse sooner than that, then go for it. Trust me. Do not do everything the way I do just because I do it. I'm just showing you how I get the things I do. This is just like my method. Very much like my bit. This is kind of the way I went with Jack, but this player has had way more PRs than Jack had. He's doing a lot better. If I wanted to, I feel like he could be a mega farmer a lot bigger than Jack was. Like seriously. And Jack's our billion dollar character in year 21. I guess that would be a challenge. Try to break my own record of like how fast I got to a billion. You know what I mean? Try to do a lot quicker. I think that'd actually be kind of cool. Like, you know, for me, I think that'd be kind of fun. Like a nice little challenge. Uh, no. Mm, wait, we're also putting these in here, right? Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? Good to see you in chat. Welcome. So, now we need to grab some of these and do... Yeah, now we can do one. Because now we got that crocus. Nice. Um... And for those that don't know, I'm going to be using the wasteful method of seeds so that we have tilled and watered land going into the next season. We're having, uh, a, all of a sudden, having to go 30 iridium sprinklers deep. We're going to need, like, you know, everything we can get. All right, let me do the math on it. You know how good I am at that, Kappa. Yo, can someone do the math for me? <laughs> what is 30 times 24? <laughs> I can't do that in my head right now. It's too fast. Ooh, that's not bad. So we're going to have exactly 720 crops to start off this next year. Not bad. Yeah, I want to do the double this time. I feel like having just a single line in the bottom was too little. You know, but the problem is, though, you can't really go up the sides. All right, let's see if it works. Did I do that right? Oh, I need one more. 
No, I went too far that time. Yep, we Gucci. Wow, I'm bad with math chat. Alright, so that's one. This is pretty much what we had across. Now, how much more up can we go? Uh... Yeah, it won't really fit, huh? Feels bad. I mean... And you can't hoe those two squares, pretty sure. So, we can do that, and we can go over one and then start it again. Is this the right spacing? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Now, how many is this? I have no idea. Ah. This is going to be kind of beastly. Just doing some big fields. We're probably going to have scarecrows taking up a couple squares here and there, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I really don't mind having, like, that super efficient design when it comes to a year two Iridium Rush like this. You're just going for what you can get. Like, screw it, dude. We actually fit one more? Do we can? That's right, I used to do this. Yeah. How many more? I only have one more, lol. We'll put it back over here. Um, we'll put it right about there. Perfect. And if we want, we can pull out more quality sprinklers. We really could. So we have a huge field down there now. Just massive field. Now, if we want to... We could make more. Like, we could make up to 21 more sprinklers. But I kind of want to do some crystallariums instead. To be honest. I don't want to make it just about crops. So that is a very strong thing to do for a year two. You know? Hmm. We still have the resources. Let's look at them. You know, we have 21 batteries. Wait, uh, we have a little bit extra iridium for what would be needed for uh, crystallariums. For 21, we would need 42 pieces. And we would need a little over 100 gold. So, and a lot of stone to make that many crystallariums. So we can't even make them right now. We would need a lot more gold that we don't have. Let's actually get this going. Oh, we don't have the coal. <laughs> we don't have the coal. <laughs> Do I have one here? I do. Why not, chat? Why not? That's wild, man. We've gone through so much coal. I guess that means we gotta go down to the uh, ice part of the caves. Let's do that. Now that we did all of our placement of all those sprinklers.
Yeah, that's true. The diamonds are not crazy money. That's a very good point. I still like just doing that stuff early. It's kind of fun. But the fact that you only ever put a diamond in them and then you never... It's just free money, though. Like, the fact that it's free money in itself, the only thing that is against you is time. The more time you put in, the more money it's worth. I mean, it's just free money. Is it seven, uh, 975? Pretty sure it's 1,000. My diamonds are 1,000 on my characters with gemology, or, you know, the gemologist characters. Those six year one prismatic shards. Yeah, and we've already gotten rid of a few. <laughs> you know, I think we sold one, we gave one to Gunther, and we used one to get her galaxy sword. We have nine total, I believe. Yeah, found nine. <laughs> so broken. All right, let's get back to it. Um, <laughs> Let's do a single one, lol. Wait, oh, I put it back? It didn't. Where am I putting these seeds? We probably got to get some lights going. I got nothing going on my farm. I mean, we got torches. Let's just put them down for now. We, have, we haven't started decorating or anything. That might be a little bit more year two. We need to work on like the building of stuff, but the decorating can come later. Really? Well, good for you, Bubba. I'm nice. I'll just put him behind those for now. Lol. That's good enough, dude. I know people that use these, like, for coal all the time, and that's not a terrible idea. It's really not. There's nothing wrong with it. I use so much wood, though, that I... I mean, you do get to a point, though, that you have more wood than you ever need. That's true. That does happen. But... I don't know. Still got a lot of stuff we can waste it on. No, good to see you, kid. Welcome to stream. I'm gonna get another one of those going, though. Yeah, we're just gonna waste our time for the rest of the day, because why not? Oh, we have an extra piece? I'm boosted, chat. I'm boosted. I just kind of want to get all these full before I go to bed, you know? Because they're not going to be done before I'm done. Come on now. Where you at? I don't know if I'm going to get that last one, though. Hopefully. I don't know how long it takes for the coal. 20 to 40 minutes, not really sure. So I don't know if we're going to get this in time. I have a feeling we won't. If it's not ready at 140, we should just not worry about it. Because we're not going to get that in time. Oh, we got it. We got it in time. Chat, help me. I'm boosted. Just in time. Let's just put those away. That's good for now. We're going to have eight more, so we just doubled how much gold we have. But we really need to go farm. We really got to go farm gold. Gold and iron. So we're going to be spending tomorrow in anywhere from like level 55 to 120, really. That's going to be where we're going to be uh, running around. Bedtime. Well, that was a pretty good day. Nice getting all of our sprinklers put out there.
Now we can go get our uh, watering can today. So because of that, I'm going to get some stuff pre-hoed. What did I get? Oh, I dug this up, lol. Didn't know that that didn't have flooring under it. Whoops. So you see, you don't have that problem if you have flooring down. Like the other ones didn't get dug up, but that did because yeah, I didn't have this down. I fucked that up. I missed this whole row. Okay, good. Now this we've already found, okay. I should just put the seeds down now. And we can water them when we get back with our uh, finished water can. So even though I did hesitate to upgrade stuff, here we are before the end of year one with all Iridium tools by the time we go see Clint today. That's... that's wild. Oh, where's our barn? <laughs> now we move them over here. This is going to be their resting place. We're going to have a bit of a grazing area for them here. And uh, yeah, this is their new home. Let's get, uh, we don't have enough duck eggs. Let's see, let's use some large eggs, get some quality mayo. Nice. I'm not a big fan of putting them in the machine, honestly, and we're probably gonna move them once I get a shed. I mostly did it because people always ask me why I don't, and I thought, all right, let's try it. I think there's some advantages and some disadvantages. I think some of the disadvantages are that, like in that one especially, sometimes it gets more in your way than anything. Like it's kind of hard to see everything around it, so it's not really the best, but it's not the worst either. It is nice because you cut down kind of your micromanagement. You go straight from the animal to the, you know, your processing center. So there's, there's definitely plus and uh, downsides to it, you know? That's why I still feel like, I honestly, I do it in my gameplay to see the benefits from all things, because I see why I do things the way I do. But I like to see what other people do as well and why they do it. And there's practicality, I feel, behind all of it, you know? It goes to that old ridiculous saying, there's like, I don't know, so many ways to skin a, a fluffy, innocent cat. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, poor kitties. Seriously. But I don't know why they say there's a bunch of ways to skill it. Yeah, but anyways point being there is a bunch of ways to play this game and i feel like all these methods are valid in their own way it is pretty creative though isn't it it is pretty interesting because the first time i saw it i was like oh well yeah that makes sense i'd rather have it in an area though where all of my artisanal stuff including those type of machines like are all in one spot and i can just kind of have an operation with them you know because like it's nice to have a centralized workplace I might still keep my chests in there, though, because that's actually... Well, no. No, I wouldn't. Because at that point, you want to have your eggs and other stuff in the main processing place. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways you could really go about it. I can't wait to do that as well with our 
uh, as long as open invite ends up being reality for our multiplayer farm. Because for those that don't know, if we're able to do a community type farm where, you know, three at a time join me while we stream and like work on a farm, we want to do a dairy farm. That'd be a lot of fun. We think it'd be really fun to have like essentially a, a cooperative uh, dairy farm. I think that'd be lit. As pre-shed. Yeah, exactly. And you know, sometimes it's why not do it outside? There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, it's really not a bad option. A lot of people like to do it full game, and I understand why they do. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. But like I said, with like eggs, that that's really what I don't like, to be honest. The coop, I feel like if, if to make it better, I need to just move them. I think it would be a lot stronger if I move them, to be honest. Because if I put them like on one of the walls to the left or the right, I think it would be a lot better. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just me. Yay! We got them all, chat. We got them all. All right. So now we have all the tools. <sighs> Feels good, doesn't it? Do we have anything for him to break? We do not. We got something to give to Gunther, though. Turn that in. We have boosted. All right, let's uh, let's make some more. We can do that. Snow yam for real? No. How? Well, that sucks. All right, hold on. You know what? Let's just grab them all real quick. I'm gonna be getting rid of you guys. Let's actually put this outside of the chicken uh, coop. <laughs> Yo, should we? Is that like weird? Oh, you can't. You got to put it indoors? What? Can I put it in here? I can't put it in here? Why? That's, that's so lame. You know, I've never even tried doing that before. That's so lame. I'm a little disappointed, gotta be honest. 
Gotta be honest. Um. Let's get this in now. And let's fill this up. That's a weird looking shape. Kind of look like looks like uh, Pac-Man's like rude cousin with an underbite. Doesn't he? Pac-Man's rude cousin with an underbite? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so we have those set up. I'm cool with that. I don't know. I don't know if we can get enough in time. But if we can get enough forageables in time, I would like to be able to try to use them as just stuff to kind of spam for death so we can get extra. I don't know. I think we could be okay, anyways. And we really need to start coming in here with uh, scarecrows. Start getting that worked out. And yeah, that's gonna have to happen. We'll see though. And look at that, we're already down to six seeds left. Dang. We are gonna grow a lot here though, so hopefully we will be able to make a lot from that. I never checked the cart lady yesterday. Totally boosted chat. Oh, I forgot it was a Sunday. Feels bad. That's all on me. That happens though, but that's a rough one. <laughs> Whoops. Trying to visualize really what I want to do down here. I mean, probably just put up more fields, but I also am trying to look toward the future and like what I'm going to want to do. You know what I mean? Like, where do I want to go with this? What is, what is like a, what is the goal? Let's do some chopping. Yo, thanks for the lost book, bro. Alright, let's finish 
finish that one out. I said finish, finish, finish. There might be a couple more down here. Oh, really? Really? Wow. There might be a couple more down here. Instantly gets attacked. Okay, now... I don't know what we do with the rest of the time here. Maybe just some fishing. We got a little bit extra. Yeah, let's just go pop a squat over here by the river. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let's go down there. Just the best angles. So we're, we know we're going to get somewhere around 800 plus crops. Because with the iridium area that we got and then the little garden up top, probably going to lay down more uh, quality sprinklers as well. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of crops. We are going to have a lot of crops. Oh, come on now, dude. Terrible fishing. This is not fishing 101 right now. So scenic. I love the winter. I mean, it's beautiful, but also listen to the listen to the river. We are picking up on those river sounds so clearly in the winter. It's just beautiful. As if it's so silent out in the world that it almost sounds like it's roaring, you know? Oh, we've already gotten one of those. Feels bad. <laughs> I remember when I first started fishing, man. Took me like five times till I could even figure out what I was supposed to do. I was so confused. But once I got the mechanic down, uh, it became a lot more fun. I'm not the greatest, but it's so relaxing, you know? You don't care. You don't care if you get messed around with a couple fish every once in a while. You know what? Let's see if we can get a couple snow yams. Come on, RNG. Hey, we got a couple snow yams. And we got some winter root. Yeah, I'll take it. So for those who didn't see it, we placed down uh, 30 iridium sprinklers. I think there's like 29 here though. So we're going to have a pretty cool year two. I'm excited for that. Got one there, a bunch of quality. Um, 
Actually, because they're high quality, I'm just going to sell them. But we're going to keep yeah, what we dug up. And then again, I shouldn't because we only have so many. Let's keep the silver and sell the gold. Because if we can get enough crocus coming up, then that's a lot more extra free seeds, you know? And you can get snow yam pretty easy if you really want to look for it. It's not too hard to get. sell that drop this off oh yeah we need to sell the tail too okay good deal so i hate doing it but i think we got to start uh, kind of like cutting our cranberry and blueberry in half and selling it. See how much we make from it and see if we have to sell more at the end of the season. You gotta be careful though because we only have so much and I want to keep stuff for kegs, you know? I don't want to stop using it. You know? Hello? That's a wall. Alright, there you go, buddy. Well, this is nice. Nothing like a good old harvest. Let's go drop off a couple things first. We need winter root. Okay, let's do it. Nice. This is what we had to do. We had to get as many of those as possible. I will sell these, though. All right, how much do we got now? Oh, wow. We're still really low, but that was not bad. I'll take it. Yo, have a good lurk, man. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream today. Good to see you. Um, what do we got here? All right, we got this all dug up and everything, so we're good. the hoe to do it. Yeah, we're gonna reshape this. I think I want to put this like in the central of this little box and then have everything else go around it. Yeah, 
You know what? Let's go old school. Can I make this yet? Yes, I can. And let's make up to that many, I think. And then we're gonna need, I don't know exactly how many it is, but let's just do this. Hey, I got an achievement. Can I stack these? I can. Hey. I don't know, how am I just now finding this out, Chad? Somebody help me. Okay. Um, I think this is about where I need to have a gate. This needs to be there, though. And we're using this as fence, folk. Talk, talk about an electric fence, I tell you. Man, I might need to bring out actually more of those things. Like make another gate. Yeah. I probably want one more central here too. All right, we're obviously gonna have to make more of those, but sweet. Yeah, I'm going old, old school. We're gonna build ourselves a, a lightning rod fence. <laughs> All right, let's get some batteries, or not batteries, excuse me. Let's get some of this stuff. Um, cool. There it is. That way all of this is enclosed. All of this is enclosed now. That's enough for now. That's a decent amount of those. Let's go drop off some of this stuff, and then we gotta go see the animals. After all of that, we gotta go see them. You know what, though? Oh, maybe we should just do it, chat. Let's just do it. That's gonna drive me nuts.
That's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. I didn't put those away though. Y'all have a good one, kid. Take care. Cause I know I want I want a gate kind of on this bottom part here. Uh, we're gonna have some more in a minute too. Now I did it two over. Let's do the same. An electric fence. You gotta love it. Yo, what's up, dig man? So we got all the seeds. Um, hmm. Once these are done, I think we're gonna change where those things are located. And until then, I really don't wanna mess with more garden. I think we're fine with it. But then again, if we did more seeds right now, that would mean that we could do so much more. Ah, uh, we got to. Because then we would just have more to craft like from that. It would just be a bigger amount. Um, we gotta get some stone. spam these guys out as much as we can while we can. There's a difference between greetings and having conversations about, uh, you know, dental care and stuff. There's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, when did you guys think about my proposal about the about the new blah blah contract? I, don't know, I can't Lindbergh. I, don't know, I can't make up words on the fly. All right, let's get this going. So what is what is eight times that? Oh yeah, we definitely have enough. Eight times nine, we're fine. No worries there. Wow, chat calling me out though. Wow, nightmares. Wow. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one too, kid. Alright, well, we got all that. Man, we could even do more. Uh, I can't put it there though. We never went and saw our animals. Whatever, they were fed, hopefully. Wait, but then there's an extra one down there now. Maybe I should put up like another gate right there by the north. Just for fun.
I honestly should put another one on the other side of the greenhouse too, because we really don't want them to be walking behind the greenhouse. That'll actually be super annoying if our animals are behind the greenhouse and we want to leave that way. Oh yeah, they're trying to sleep. Sorry about that. But yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Let's also feed them up a bit. Oh wait, we can only do one at a time anyways. Um... Whoops. There we go. So our, our hay was fine. We still had ha half of what was in the silo. Yeah, we have plenty of extra hay. We even have more in the barn. We actually have a lot in the barn, almost a full stack. All right, let's go get more gates and stuff built since we have the time. Let's get some stuff for the preserves. Uh, what do we want to do for preserves right now? Let, I, I mean, let's stay with blueberry. You know what, though? Let's do this now, too. We're going to fill this up. And we're going to sell everything that's on us. I mean, blueberries and cranberries. Put these seeds away. We still have the bat wings on us, huh? Okay, we need to build... We need to build four of these and two gates. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Or should I put it back a square? And then we can put another one of these right here. This is going to be a no horse zone right in there. Just cannot get the horse there whatsoever. So this should be okay, but they they could kind of bottleneck right in there. Maybe, makes you want to maybe move this out one more square over. That could be doable. Because I really don't want them going behind the greenhouse. You know? No, I'm doing good. I just didn't want to, I don't know. They don't want to continue with that kind of uh, just everything that was going on. Sometimes it's better to take that break and uh, get a level head. All right, so let's see. Is this guy still? Yeah. Still just hanging out with its wang out. Got no tapper on him or nothing. good i think it's time to go to bed so yeah the main reason i do want to get crystallariums going is because like i said i know it doesn't seem like big money but the earlier you get them going the better because they're all about how much time you put into them and how much money comes out of them in that time since they are just giving you free stuff over time you know so 
I think I do want to try to pump those out. We need to get to the mines. I know I said that a couple days ago, <laughs> but we really got to get to the mines and we got to get gold. We got to get iron. All right, I think that'll be good. All right, let's get to it. Let's get out there. After we take care of our animals and such. <laughs> Made some good money. The cranberries and blueberries brought us 30 grand. That's good, but that's not like, oh my goodness, amazing. So we got to be a little careful. Because we do have a lot of crops that are needed. Can you some iron? He wants iron? Okay. That's no big deal. Oh no, we did get rid of everything we had last time. Okay. We'll just use these and replant. This is your year one, and I'm on year one, and I'm not even a... <laughs> no, you're not doing anything wrong, Chibi. Uh, th th this, this playthrough is pretty much for the people that have been like, I don't understand how you can get what you get with your farms. How do you do it? So this is me showing them my method. But to be fair, I'm setting a lot of my own personal records. I'm setting a lot of my own personal records. Because we have 30 iridium sprinklers like this one. We have 29 down there. 29 down there ready to go for uh, spring so we, that's why we need money and stuff so badly I've been spending a lot to get upgrades but now we're at the point where it's like yo we really need to save money we really need to save money but you know I just have played this game a lot and know a lot about it so at this point it's just me kind of doing what I do um hmm what did I need? I need... I need these. We can make two more. What are we planting? We're gonna be planting a little bit of everything, but... Nothing too crazy. We're just hoping to go big on, uh... I mean, garlic wouldn't be bad, but we're going to be going a little bit on everything. Spring's not a great month unless you have a lot of coffee and a lot of, uh, you know, or even some strawberries to pump out or ancient fruit. And we're going to have ancient fruit, but we're only going to have like up to 20 plants because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get the greenhouse going. Yeah, I mean, it definitely wouldn't be in time regardless, but you know what I mean? Like. Ancient fruit wise, it's going to be whatever. Coffee is going to be okay, but we're going to have to grow as we go. Like we're going to have to grow plants, put some speed grow on them, and then get some other plants off of that and then just keep planting. You know, like every harvest you get, just keep planting. I actually have a plan for a little garden below me. So we'll see that happen in spring. Uh, we will be live streaming this character once we're done with the year one playthrough. Because that's what this is. This video series is a year one playthrough of uh, how we do what we do. Wait, I still have those in here and these? Oh my goodness. Let's sell them. Yo, what's up, Spots? Welcome. Yeah, I know. We'll get over there, Clint. We'll get over there, buddy. And we're literally planting those so we can have a ton of seeds to die at the end of the year. <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> Just so we can have a fast uh, transition. Because we got a lot of crops to try to get going, man. It's going to be a crazy first couple of days of spring. 
Hello? Hello? I hate these freaking ducks, man. I, like, talked to one of them, and he's like, I talk for all the ducks. Okay, so... Ooh, actually, let's leave those. So, in preparing for spring, uh, we have a lot of things that need our attention, including the mines. So we're going to have to get out there once we're done with taking care of the animals. And we got to get going on that gold if we're get, uh, to get those crystallariums done. I would like to get that done this winter. That'd be amazing. That'd be really amazing. If we could get 21 crystallariums done. Pff, sweet. I, I need to go here. I don't know why I was leaving. What's up, buddies? How you doing? Nice. Though I would like to buy more animals, I'm gonna wait just because, well, money. We need to have a lot of money for the beginning of that year. Gonna be a big make or break for us. Okay, it's time to go out to the mines for sure. Well, I didn't show this though, in case anybody just came in recently in the stream. There's 29 of these down here. So we are ready for spring. And even though I'm going to change the way it's laid out, this is going to be more central between these. And we're going to have quality sprinklers kind of all around. That's going to be our coffee garden. We're going to have a little bit of some gardens up here as well. Uh, but yeah. Because we have, we have more that we can put down of the quality sprinklers. How many more we got? 13. So, yep. We can finish out that coffee spot and just make this field over here probably a 3x5. Right now it's a 3x4. That's okay. Uh, let's see Clint first, though. Let's see Clint first since we can just see him via the mine carts and then head out to the mines. Hey, it's the iron bar I asked for. It looks strong, perfect. You know it, dude. Thanks, Lack. I appreciate this. Yo, no worries. I appreciate you finally giving me money. Dude, I did that. I gave an amethyst to Emily, and he didn't give me anything for it at all. At all. He gave me nothing, chat. And the goal, and all of it was done. I was like, wow, what a guy. At least I finally got some money from him, dude. I mean, no wonder he's single. He's stingy a AF. Let's get down here. This isn't going too hot so far. Where's the coal sprites? Dang it. There they are. Now I like that we have the prospector perk because like right there, boom, extra coal. Double the chances of getting coal.
Nice. Doesn't look like a really good spawn for ore or coal, so we probably should just leave. Nice. Two pieces off those three, I'll take it. Decent odds. Yo, what's up, Big Green? How you doing? Welcome to the video stream. Nice, we got a whole bunch of uh, iron ore. It's the first time I actually blocked his ass. Every time I tried to, he just like runs right through me. Nice, got a diamond? I'll take it. Before we take those, we definitely want all the ore, I mean, it's one of the better uh, levels I've seen for iron in a while. Nice! Golden Sun's a fun time. Glad you had a good playthrough of that. Hello? Well... About this, uh... I really don't want to fight you gentlemen, but I guess uh, you leave me no other choice. Man, there's so many spots in this level too. This is like one of the rough ones for it to be a monster level because it's really long and windy. the last view, yeah? What? Where's the other one? Oh no, is this gonna be one of those levels? Where like, he's somewhere, but I, there he is. I was gonna say, but I can't find him. <laughs> what a jerk. What a jerk. He was hiding. Uh, it will happen. Thank you, my guy. Yo, one month away and we're having a baby. We're having a sub baby. Yo, thank you for that eight month subscription to the channel. Welcome back to the League of Extreme Butt Touchers. Enjoy your continued use of Lakatush across the Twitchosphere. Yo, what's up, my man? How you doing, Arthur? Good to see you, my guy. I have no idea where I was going down here at all. Yeah, let's leave anyways. Let's go down to, uh, where should we go? Like 95? How many, how many, what are they called? Super cats, chocolate cats? How many cats you got? How many millions are you making? Wow, he's all up on me. Yo, Spots, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the family. All for the right moment, that's right, man. All for the right moment. Yo, it's good to see you, my guy. Am 
Well, he hexed me, but now they gotta hit me, and that did not happen. Poor guy. Hello? That's how we do it. Like, I feel like with an Iridium pickaxe, the gold here should be one hit. I really feel like they should be one hit. They shouldn't be two hit. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why they're two hit. We have so much syrup still, like, it's all good. Man, we got bombs too? Goodness. Well. Ain't we in a pickle. Let's eat some so we uh, replenish our replenish our health and energy by just a little bit. Since the guys down here do hit a lot harder than in the rest of the mines. You know, the rest of the mines aren't too bad, but this area can be interesting. To say the least. Are we collecting those? Yeah, we are. Farming up the minerals. Something you gotta do. I don't want to go too far down this one. These spiral levels, man. They're not fun. Let's go 105. Whoa. It's 12 o'clock. We should probably leave soon. Just trying to farm up some goodies. Much as I can get here. That's about it. We can go home now. Today has been a pretty uh, successful and productive day when it comes to this farm working on um, kind of the infrastructure, getting stuff set up and ready for spring. We have 30 uh, iridium sprinklers set down. We have over 20 quality sprinklers set up here. That's one of our iridiums. We got a bunch more iridium down there. Got a whole field. So that'll be pretty cool. Hey, that stuff's ready. Well, we gotta take care of this first. Mm. Screw it, let's sell those diamonds, man. Actually, no, we do need to save them. Speaking of diamonds.
Hey, that's a decent amount of coal. I'm happy with that. Now we gotta get this. Can we do this in time? I don't think so. We're gonna try though. There's 12 over there. I mean, we can get we can get in bed in time. I just don't know if I can sell it too. Yeah, we can. We gotta get in bed. 12.50, oh, 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 we can do it. We can do it. Wait, I missed one? Wait, what? Oh, I guess it was less than I needed. Okay. Huh. Let's just sell those. I thought for some reason I needed more numbers. Like, more than what I needed there. Add that off. Okay. That's fine. Made a little bit of money. Nothing crazy, though. You see, look at how much money I made from that cranberry. And look at how much money I made from that cranberry doing wine. Like, in comparison, eh, you know, it is worth it. It is worth it. Well, another 10 grand. Just gotta hope we can make enough before spring. Speaking of making... We're going need uh going to need to make a couple things. Don't we need something like that for it? Okay, that's not quite what we need. Oh, and coal? How many pieces? Of course it's 10. Wow. Emily, Emily's her secret gift. A single seed feels bad, but whatever. I'm just gonna wait these out. We got time for it. We're just gonna wait them out. the six seeds. And we already have a decent amount that we've gotten uh, in the game of seeds, so together we might have around, maybe if we're lucky, 15 or so. With any luck. Ooh, we got three from that one. That was really good. That was really good. I think we're gonna have 15 maybe just from this. We'll see. Unless we get some ones. Oh, we got one there, sadly. All right, let's see how much we have here. Oh, wow, we got 17. Come on, can we get three here? We're gonna get one, two, or three. Or are we gonna get a mixed seed and make us sad? We got 19, 19 ancient fruit seeds. That's not bad. Let's go drop this stuff off. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, what's up, kid? Welcome to the chat. How, many, how are you doing today? How many? What are they called? Super a little, cats? Chocolate cats? How many really? cats you get? Uh, what a name. How many millions are you making? What a, what a, what a classy name. Little Titty Big Heart. Yo, how you doing, man? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the fam. Yeah, and some of my farms, uh... I got way too many kegs. A lot of the time we tend to listen to whatever music we feel like, but when we're doing these videos, we like to, uh... And we like to just play, you know, what's natural in the game. Because it's really good music. It's kind of nice to remind myself that. I think they're on the same day now, aren't they? They are. They're finally... Oh, well, hello? I want you to at least tell me that you don't have milk. And you do. They were on the same day and they got off schedules again. Those goats, dude. I'll never get it. So we have 29, we have 29 Iridium Sprinklers down in that field we got to be ready for. We're going to have a little bit of a garden up top too. Let's bring this out. Let's have those down. There we go. Yo, how are you though, kid? I actually know you. I know your stream. I've been over there a couple times. I've enjoyed your content. I originally found it when you, back when you would play uh, Stardew Valley. I can never say your name, though. I don't know how to pronounce that. I have no idea. I'm boosted. Maybe we should just put those one over. Well, Hawk Rex, if you look at our YouTube series we've been working on where we just do raw stream to Twitch, or excuse me, Twitch to YouTube footage. So they're kind of long. But you can go look at the episode that's entitled Iridium Run. And at the end of that video, it's like, you know, almost a two-hour video. But at the end of it, uh, that we do an Iridium Run and we get 435 pieces of Iridium Ore. And at that point, we already had gotten some iridium, so we've been we've been crazy about it. Oh, really? It's been a while. Well, that feels bad. I'm good. Uh, overly tired. The dog. Oh, your dog is so precious. You got a sweet puppers. I love dogs. Yeah, we went per pretty hard in the paint. <laughs> we really did. So this is our uh, sprinkler setup for next spring. Got a lot though. Got a lot we got to do. I want to go get the wood. I want to keep doing that. Keep making it a regular thing. But when we come back, I think we want to do maybe just a little bit more mining for the day. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. two to go and then we got to get to the mines really I thought some of that was uh, it's all grass too I'm dumb chat that's right that's like the only area here I could actually ho 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 
Aww. That's sweet of her. I mean, they usually, they usually do wake you because they gotta go to the bathroom. You know, I don't think I've ever had a dog wake me just to play with me before. Though I do love playing with the doggos. Why don't I just do a full charge? Wow, Tooth. Wow. Let's dig this up. We're just gonna eat it. All right, we gotta get to the mines though. No more messing around. No more worrying about worms. We just gotta get going. Wait, put this away too. There we go. I don't need all that stuff on me, but yeah, let's drop it off. We did kind of run out of space last time we were down there, didn't we? Let's put it in here for now. That's actually what we need. There we go. Perfect. Let's get going. This is on PC, yes. I think today I want to focus on gold. What a jerk. You're such a jerk. He was all up in my business. What a mean guy. Well, you got me pretty good there, but you're not going to get close enough to hit me, so that hex is worthless. Unless somebody swarmed me right now like a bunch of bats, but even then I think we'd be okay. Now I'm using the burglar ring, uh, instead of, instead of the, a glow ring that I have. I'd rather have the magnet ring. And the burglar ring is nice because we can get extra loot, which, you know, hey, I like stuff. I like things that kind of have that pirate angle, you know what I mean? Like the pirate perk with fishing, I love it, it's freaking hilarious. Like, oh, I'm a pirate, I'm gonna go for the, all the treasure. <laughs> Uh, can you please not hurt me? Wow. Wow, that guy. Yeah, the first couple times you play the game, uh, the mines can be kind of challenging and they can kind of be almost scary at times, but the more and more you play it, the more of that, like, flow you get. You kind of learn how to go in between mining and fighting really well, you know? Dude, I'm just letting them hex me. Wow. Got him. Hello? Ooh, that squid kid though. Got him. Squid kids can kind of be a pain. They're super fragile though. All you gotta do is pretty much go toward them and hit them one time. Unless your sword's super basic. I don't know why they're called squid kids either. They look like, I don't know, they look like moons kind of, you know? They're little floating orbs with faces. I hate this level, let's get out of here. I hate the spiral stairs, they're just a waste of time. Yeah, that that's the place that I like to to make my my like, you know, like like pretty much yo skull caves, you're mine, you worship me. Like I don't know man. I like to try to conquer it as hard as I can. 
it's a fun time it, it take it it's not easy though it's it's challenging at first I feel like my iridium runs are ways of just kind of being like yo skull caves get bent get bent oh yeah man you you get hit two times by those green dragons and you're just like oh my goodness i made a mistake why am i here why am i here Oh, uh, it's unfortunate about uh, that with the switch. I haven't heard that one yet. That feels bad. <laughs> and we got about 30 pieces of gold. Nothing amazing though. Now, if you've noticed, I'm really just down here to stone farm. Like, that's what, when I go to the mines, I'm like, oh, stone? Stone? Stone that I know is going to give me stone no matter what? Oh, okay, okay. I go crazy about it. Cost around $9.99. I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, somebody asked if I could, uh, the next time they have a hard time going to sleep, if I could read a book to them. People have been saying that I should be one of those guys that do the audio book tapes, but I don't know, man. Every once in a while you hear me go, uh, uh, wait, what's that word? Uh, I don't know if people want those in their audio tapes. It's getting late. We really should take the stairs and get out of here. I mean, we still have time if we really wanted to push it. We could, and we could still make it home, but I'd rather get out of here. It was a successful day, and overall a lot of successful preparing. We placed a lot of sprinklers today. Uh, still got a little bit to change in that top garden area, but that's okay. We'll get to that later. And then we got a lot of scarecrows to put down, so that's going to take some time for sure. Let's see. We'll keep this. These. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait. The fiber as well. What else? Is that really it? Okay. Oh, I didn't drop off the slime. Whatever, dude. That slime can get bent. And that's it. That's it for the day and for the episode. Uh, YouTube, thanks for coming in once again to hang out with us. I hope you enjoy the content. And we will be back for another video uh, of this year one day-by-day -day playthrough of how I do my farms. But first off, we gotta drop this off, go to bed, and see how much money we made. Not, eh, it's not gonna be anything crazy, but see how much money we made today. 
And Twitch, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Alright, that's the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.